All right, Rick, uh, two years from this week, believe it or not, the 2021 All-Star Game, will NBA All-Star Game will be in Indianapolis. Uh, we all know it's about the game, certainly. But more than the game, the community uh, is a big part of this. I know you've got your first community initiative. Yeah, we do. We're really excited about it, too. Everybody remembers these scarves. Uh, we wore, wore them around for the uh, Super Bowl in 2012, yep. and it was a great initiative. But yet we've come up with this year. Everybody knows what, everybody knows what nothing but net means. It's right. a swish, right? right? Well, our folks have come up with this great thing called nothing but knit. And so what we're going to do is make beanies, okay. beanies for all-stars. And so we're going to make about 5,000 of these. Yeah. Um, and we're going to give these kits. I want you to have the okay. kit right here right. that you can take right. home and you can do it in your spare time. Like uh, but we'll have those all across to, uh, all across to Indiana. This is really an Indiana initiative, and we want people uh, to join us in Indianapolis on so many different ways. Yeah. We do harken back to 2012 and the Super Bowl, and those scarves, such a, a big hit. This really is a different spin, if you will, on that. And a way to get non-traditional people and volunteers. Yeah, I mean, it is February. Yep. Um, we love our weather. Yep. Um, and so we're going to embrace it. And so uh, think about somebody uh, knitting one of these. It might go to uh, the coach or might go to uh, Commissioner Silver or might go to one of the actual All-Stars. So it's really going to be an exciting, uh, exciting opportunity. We're taking another delegation mm -hmm. um, uh, to Charlotte. Uh, to look at the All-Star Game again, to make sure that we see every opportunity. And then it's us, just yep. two, two years from now. So it's really, a, a, I think, a great opportunity for us to spread the, spread the word around the state. You're heading out to Charlotte, as you said, to go to the NBA All-Star Game this weekend. Uh, what do you hope to learn? Charlotte's a similar size market. Do you hope to learn a lot out there? Well, I think, yeah, you know, last year we were in L.A. Mm -hmm. um, we've seen it in Las Vegas. We've seen it in a number of bigger uh, cities in terms of population. Uh, but seeing it in Charlotte, uh, is a little bit more toward the size of us. Although I don't believe Charlotte has the same kind of downtown mm -hmm. uh, certainly mm -hmm. that we do, and I think that's going to be a major player, you know, with us with the new hotels going up, um, you, you know, et cetera. So it's going to be a, a great opportunity for us. And really, you know, the economic development. Mm -hmm. We like to see that. We like to see uh, what companies come out because the economic development is is estimated to be over hundred million dollars uh, for the All Star Game alone, um, and that and that really equates into uh, lots of jobs. Uh, the Pacers. We just did some economic input mm -hmm. studies and uh, we're over about 370 million dollars a year annually in terms of uh, economic impact 4,000 jobs and that shows again I think that these sports activities and teams mm -hmm. really lead to economic development. The NBA All-Star Game last in Indianapolis uh, in 1985 I remember it I was there an old timer uh, <laughs> but uh, a lot has changed not only in the game itself and the, the, the activities but in the hosting of the game and the activities around it. Yeah there's no question about it 19 I got hired in 1984 by the Pacers and that first job I I had was to represent the Pacers for the All-Star Game in 85, 40,000 some odd people mm -hmm. at, uh, at the Dome then, um, and it was just about a few events. Mm -hmm. The game certainly was the centerpiece, and we had the All-Star Saturday, etc., but we didn't have that many parties. There weren't as many uh, many media. We had 3,000 media coming mm -hmm. in for this event, uh, so it, it's exponentially bigger. Can we expect more announcements as the, the game gets you, closer? You, you will see a lot of announcements from us. We want this to be the best All-Star ever. We want it to be right for the NBA, uh, right for the game of basketball, right for Indianapolis, and right for the state. So you're going to see a lot of different things as we reach out all across the state to make sure that all 92 counties uh, touch this All-Star game in 2021. All right, Rick Fusen is the president and COO of Pacer Sports and Entertainment. Rick, thank you. Thanks, man. Appreciate and you're looking good in that, uh, that beanie, too. I love it. Yeah, I'll, make, I'll make one, too. I love it.